This is the official rewards controller. Okay, just kidding. It's not really the rewards controller. This is the in a uh, what is mouth part game controller, also known as the dog walker short part. And if you have been following one of those uh, game controller review channels, you probably saw and heard about this controller. So I got interested in this controller when they make a wired version for it along with uh, adding gyroscope uh, sensor due to popular demand but I wasn't interested in getting it until it was um, rolled out and update that support this controller officially in today's video I'm gonna just uh, try to see how compatible this is in uh, rewards and what kind of feature they got installed because I don't think any other channel the this they always review like the hardware, the touch and everything for you. But it doesn't seem to be that there's anyone who review the controller in rewards. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I got rewards open up here and you can see that the controller is officially uh recognized as a dark walker short part. And you can see the whole UI. I'm going to create a new profile, okay. Uh Let's go short part. Okay, so we are now in the main page now with uh, everything in here. So the first thing I want to do is to click on this. All right, this is uh, this is a very good side right here. We have the two control available and selectable. Now I'm not I'm not saying that I'm a fan of two control, but this is actually indicated something really good we got installed here. But I'm gonna just uh, click advance. Yeah, everything in gyroscope you can see here. It also has the lean mapping, even though it's particularly useless in rewards. Okay, so we also have like everything layout, like the scroll wheel, this buttons. Let's click on the back right here. Yeah, the back button are also available. Three of them. The FN also uh, you can go. It seems that you can also uh, map the FN buttons. Typically, these buttons are kind of like hard wired to hack uh, coded to be functionality the uh, function buttons. But it seems that um, in this uh, in this rewards manager to block it completely, so we can actually map it to however we want. Let's see about this. Yeah. Okay. I also noticed that we don't have the uh, rumble uh, vibration tab here because this controller obviously doesn't have uh, vibrations uh, feedback. So that's understandable. Yeah, this is one of the key. I want to show the buttons. And this is the touch bar. We also have a tap and click. Okay, so let's see. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to activate the do shop for mode. Okay. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks really good. You can see that um, the gyroscope on the controller has been mapped to the gyroscope for the uh, DualShock controller. This is a pass-through mode and that just means that this controller can emulate a uh, DualShock 4 or the Switch mode uh, motion sensor. There's actually a lot of reason for that, really good reason to use them for that. But you can also see on the left side right here, the analog stick also map it to the left uh, analog stick. Um, there's a big, a little concern regarding the uh, the what now what shop part. That is that the analog trigger is kind of in native mode. The analog trigger is on the output to uh, WASD, which is just a binary input. People really want to use the analog stick for analog stick things, but the native mode doesn't allow that. But this appears to be that um, in rewards mode you can actually use the analog. But I'm gonna just apply for now. I'm gonna uh, run some tests. Alright, so I got the uh, Gamepad Tester uh, website open here, so let's take this controller out. Yep, that's the analog stick, alright. I don't think there's any cardio snapping, but it is a fully fledged analog stick. Yep, that's look good. That's look really good. So we can actually use the analog on this controller as an analog stick if you want to want play one of those games like racing game or third person action game where you need the analog control. Yeah. 
and the button also I map it to the face button right here trigger oh but by the way the triggers are um, digital not analog so it really uh, like just quickly buttons but buttons are not assigned to anything so they don't do anything at the moment all right so i have a uh, real change the Nintendo switch emulator open here and this is a splatoon 3 so what i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try testing the gyroscope and the motion sensor on this controller and see if the password actually work so let's see Alright, so now it's actually work alright. You, you can see that I'm moving my controller and it's uh, moving around. Yeah, the gyroscope actually works. So, unlike FlyDG's uh, gyroscope, and this is fully exposed and can be used as a pass through. Yeah, it's already below the FlyDG controller in the functionalities of the uh, water already. Yeah, I can say that I'm getting along with this controller really well. Oh, hold on. Um, yeah, there's no right stick at the moment. I haven't assigned a right stick. So, like, it's just a gyroscope, no a right stick. You know what? Um, let's, just, let's just go back into the window. Alright, the next thing I want to try is the touchpad. You can see the touchpad right here. So, when you click on the touchpad, you can see that there is a two different mode, uh, analog mode and digital mode. Uh, I have no idea what exactly these are for, but let's see. The digital mode, you can actually have the bad mouse and more. Yeah, let's click on the analog. Now we have the right stick and left stick right here. Also the DS for touch pad. Yeah, I'm gonna use the right click, right stick, apply. Now we go back into Splat 2. Yeah, it's now emulate the um, right stick. You can see that I'm moving now. Uh, no, uh, no vertical. This game doesn't have vertical stick unless to turn off the motion control. So right now I'm using the horizontal. Okay, so right, right in the middle it seems to be the the middle of the stick. So if I press here, uh, the camera barely move or move very little. But yeah, I touch the edge. Stick move really fast. Yes, yeah, simulating the right analog stick. Pretty cool. So, what else do we have? Let's go into advanced. Uh, we have the analog, uh, we have the um, respawn curve here. We set up uh, invert. Both the uh, Y and S axis also have separate sensitivity, which is really really nice. But particularly, there's this corner there, the spring mode. What is that? Like? The checkpad works like a joystick mode. The stick is deflected while the finger is on checkpad outside. That's all. Right, let's, just, let's just apply it. Let's see how it goes. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I see. So the springs mode, um, sort of like emulate the mouse movement, but output at the analog stick. Yeah, you can see that I'm moving. Just flick the stick and just move. If I flick the touchpad, the um, the camera kind of move along. It just how. With this mover, how much I think I gotta stop, stop, then I keep moving, move. Yeah, I got like that. Okay, this is really nice. Uh, where is the S? This one. Yeah, this is the S. Uh, option. Oh, we have it now. Of course. Let's crank up the sensitivity. Oh sweet, it's actually faster now. It's like you can actually 
do a wide camera pan just by clicking the analog so if I don't use the spring I have to touch the edge of the touchpad for the character to start moving but doing so I just have to move this side I just have to move my finger on this side this is really nice I think I'm gonna try this uh, in some of those uh, PlayStation and uh, PlayStation emulator one of those games that actually use a uh, rhinolog stick look around Alright, so this is the most let's use the mouse and arouse. I will look into this more later. Oh right, right, one more thing. Right. Ship radio. Okay, so I have the radio main new license, so I wanna try this as well. So I the con currently the controller this is the radio menu uh, layout. Let's see if I click this. Yeah we have the radio menu option here. Yeah, let's actually select the radio. The gyroscope also has an option for radio menu. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's, let's try this one. So I'm gonna use this button to um, activate radio menu. Alright, let's see. Oh. Oh yeah, right, I love it, I love it. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, I'm using the touchpad to select the radio menu. This is a bit hard to see. Let me just close this. And you can see, I'm I'm using the radio menu. I just tilt it around like this. I can actually select what I want. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I'm liking this controller already. Very sweet, very nice. All right, so for now. Uh, I just want to test out if this controller works uh, in uh, work uh, with uh, emulating as a controller with analog stick in the lights. And it seems that this controller adapts extremely well. But the problem is that the native mode only support uh, um, outputting as a keyboard and mouse, so it severely restricts the uh, capability of this controller. But good thing with the reward support, we'll be able to open up more use with this controller like we're seeing here uh, with a whole emulating at the DualShock on Nintendo Switch so the good thing about the gyroscope being uh, able to be fully used in the past through mode is that not only in use it will make, will make the controller usable in emulator but if there's any game in P on PC that support uh, gyroscope natively we'll be able to use the gyroscope for those games as well, instead of just like going for the usual uh, gyros to mouse implementation, and we get to enjoy the native support on those new games. That basically made this controller more future proof than the strategy I got. I will look into more about uh, look into the other function, but uh, I think I'm gonna just uh, cover those uh, cover these features for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again.